Big Lou, and this is Big Lou Barbecue, and other things I want to do. And let me tell you what I got going on for you. We're going to do a mac and cheese today on my Weber kettle with the slow and sear. Um, I'm going to a Christmas party tonight. That's what was requested for us to bring. I've made it before on my channel uh, about a year and a half ago with my ugly drum smoker. That video is about 12 minutes long. I get, you know, some people say they've tried that recipe and like it. It's a real easy recipe. You just boil the macaroni al dente, mix it with the four different types of cheeses, put it in a pan, put it on your smoker, your grill, whatever, and it's that easy to do. Let me show you how I prep this, all right? And then um, we're gonna put it on this grill, let it go for about an hour, and I'm gonna take it to this party. May not be a taste testing because we're going to be at someone else's house when we serve it. But I tell you what, if you wanna see what it looks like, look at that other video, the link is below. Big Lou Barbecue. All right, you need two pounds of elbow macaroni, three pounds of sharp cheddar cheese. You need a quart of ricotta cheese. You need a quart of cottage cheese. However, the grocery store where I shop at does not sell cottage cheese by the quart. They do have this uh, 24 ounce package, and so it's about a cup shy of a quart. I guess I could have brought another quart, but we're just gonna do without it. All right, you need uh, some seasonings. You'd salt and pepper to taste is the original recipe, but I'm using my own blend of Cajun Creole seasoning here. And you need some paprika that's also part Part of the topping. So here's your four cheeses. Cheddar, ricotta, cottage, parmesan. All right, shred up the three pounds of cheddar cheese. Dump in the uh, macaroni that you just cooked al dente and drained. All right, but do it while it's warm. It's going to be a lot easier to mix up if you do it when the macaroni is warm. All right, we're going to put in the ricotta. If I can get it out of that plastic uh, container, jar, can, tub, what do you call those plastic things? Now the cottage cheese, you kind of got to wipe out of it with the uh, rubber spatula there to get it all out of the container. All right, and once it's all out of the container, the ricotta and the cottage and the cheddar's down on the bottom of that macaroni, we just start mixing it all together. Mix, 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 stir, 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 fold, 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 incorporate, whatever. All right, once you get it, you know, parsley done, almost done like that, add in your seasoning. That's a Cajun Creole seasoning I'm adding in. You could use just salt and pepper if you want or your favorite seasoning blend. All right, and do that to taste. It looks like that. And uh, then you dump it into the pan you're going to cook it in. All right, and now we're adding some Parmesan cheese to the top. Now we're going to sprinkle that all over it and then spread it out smooth. And then once it's on there kind of smooth, we're going to add in some paprika. You can put the paprika on in whatever pattern you want. I kind of like to do it in a little lattice pattern like that. Now let's go out and get the grill thrill done. I'm using my Weber kettle and the uh, slow and sear with some uh, Royal Oak hardwood briquettes. And that's some hickory chips I throw on top of it right like that. Put the grill grate on. Uh-oh, i got to rotate it so that I can fit this big pan on there with the handles. Once it's up to about 400 degrees, uh, which doesn't take long, drop the macaroni on there. 30 minutes later, flip it around so it heats evenly. And then about 30 minutes after that, it's done, y'all. All right, this thing has been going at about 450 degrees. We're back in real time right now, so you can see it bubbling. You can see the charcoal here in the uh, slow and sear. You see, it's browning around the edges. That paprika streaks, you can see that. And that Romano cheese, I hope you can see that. It's gotten golden and streaky right there. All right, I'm taking this to a party tonight. There probably won't be a taste test. If you want to see what that looks like, watch my original video on this where I cooked it in the drum smoker. Um, if I can get some pictures of it, I'll tell you. But I know what, it's good. I grew up on this recipe, done in the oven with my mama, and nowadays I do it on the grill. It's delicious, y'all. Big Lou Barbecue. Thanks so much for watching. As I like to say it in Spanish, gracias por mirar.